Hey again everybody, CJ here. I just wanted to make a quick note about this battery that I meant to do in the last video and for whatever reason completely forgot it. Anytime you're charging a battery with a liquid um, electrolyte that has any possibility of leaking, you always want to make sure you've got it in some kind of a pan. Now, a glass dish is probably the best. Barring that, if you can take the bottom two inches of a five gallon bucket or something along those lines, you know, just kind of hacksaw that thing apart, um, you know, something that can withstand the acidity of the electrolyte or the alkalinity, depending on what kind of battery you're dealing with. Um, the reason for that, there, there are many reasons, but the number one reason is because, especially if you don't know the condition that the battery is in, you don't know how much it's been abused, whether it's been bounced off a wall or, you know, maybe a car part has been bounced off of it. Casings do crack. Now, admittedly, I did put the caps back on the uh, cells and I put the cover back on the caps. So there's no way for the electrolyte to eke out except through any other failure points in the casing. As this battery is right now today, I cannot use it, no matter what I would be using it for. The reason being that it's going to be leaking that electrolyte anytime it's charged, and that's just going to give one more way for the electrolyte to get lost. And as you can see, it's losing it at a pretty good drip. Now, I'm dealing with these uninsulated alligator clip connections, so it's probably not the best idea to be using aluminum. However, it will withstand whatever little bit of acidity I have in that solution. Now you can see that the aluminum has already become discolored, so it's probably not going to withstand it forever. But, you know, for just charging something like this, it'll do just fine. Now if you want a dessert tray like that, you can order one from Papa John's with their little nine-piece brownie that they give. Comes in this nice little tin, you just gotta... <laughs> Wash it out when you're done. I've got a stack of them. Yeah, I know, I eat too many brownies. But since I don't want to leak out my electrolyte, I've gone ahead and taken it off the charge, and we're going to see where that voltage reads tomorrow. I'm really curious. But that's it. That's my note. Just make sure that anytime you're charging a battery, you've got it in something to catch the acid, because you never know when something like that's going to happen. Until next time, this is CJ for the Tech Addicts Attic. Take care.